Hello students, let's do algebra fundamental operations exercise 14c multiplication by the row method. Page number 156 and we are with question 7. Here we are going to multiply one binomial with another binomial. So how do we do this? Let's look at the first binomial here and take only the first term from that. So I'm going to write down the first term and I'm going to multiply it with the second binomial, the whole thing. That is x plus 10. Then I'm going to take the second one, second term of the first binomial, that is 2. And I'm going to multiply it the, with the whole of the second binomial. So I have it like this. Now this we have learned, isn't it? We learned it in the previous questions, how to multiply a binomial with a monomial. So we have learned this. So let's work this out. So here, how do we do it? Here we multiply x into x first. So what do we get? x into x is x to the power of 2 plus then we multiply x. So we finish multiplying this. So now let's multiply x into the second term x into 10. x into 10 is 10x. Now we go on to the second part. So here we're going to write plus. Now look at the next one. So here we have 2 into x plus 10. So first we multiply 2 into x and then 2 into 10. So the first thing is 2 into x. 2 into x is 2x plus. Now we finish multiplying this. So we're going to go on to 2 into the next term which is 2 into 10. 2 into 10 is 20. So here we have x square. Now here we have two like terms that is 10x and 2x and both have plus signs so we add it up 10 plus 2 is 12 so this becomes 12x and then we write the number 20. So what is our final answer? x square plus 12x plus 20. Question 2. x plus 5 and x minus 3. So here again we take the first term of the first binomial. So let's do that. So this will be x into, now take the whole of the second binomial that is x minus 3 plus, now take this 5 and multiply 5 into the whole of the second binomial. So we have split up the first binomial, the second binomial we are writing it as it is. Now we multiply x into x first. So x into x is x to the power of 2. So we finish multiplying that. Now we multiply x into minus 3. So the sign will be minus and x into 3 will be 3x. Plus, let's go to the next one. So here we multiply 5 into x. So 5 into x will be 5x. Then we go on to the next one. So we finish with this. We go on to the next one. This time we are multiplying. 5 into minus 3 or we can write minus here as it is and 5 into 3 is 15. So here we write x square. Now look at minus 3x and plus 5x. We have two like terms. So minus 3x plus 5x. So look at only the numbers and the sign. So minus here we have a minus sign and here we have a plus sign. When signs are different, put the sign of the bigger number and subtract 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2 and then we write x. So we have plus 2x. So here we have plus 2x and we write minus 15 as it is. So what is our answer? x square plus 2x minus 15. Next one. So here again we have the first binomial. We are going to take only x from that and we are going to multiply the whole of the second binomial. So that is x plus 3. Now take this next term and that is minus 5. So minus 5 into the whole of the second binomial x plus 3. So now let's multiply x into x. x into x is x to the power of 2. Now we have to multiply with the next one that is x into 3. So x into 3 will be 3x. So that is plus 3x. So let's write that. Now we go to the next part, minus 5 into x, minus 5 into x, the sign will be minus, the number is 5, 5 into x is 5x. So now we multiply minus 5 into plus 3. 
So minus 5 into plus 3. When you multiply these, first multiply the signs. Minus into plus is minus. 5 into 3 is 15. So that becomes minus 15. So here we have x squared and then we have plus 3x and minus 5x which are like terms so we can work that out. So plus 3x minus 5x. Signs are different so put the sign of the bigger number and subtract 5 minus 3 that is 2 minus 2x. So here we can write minus 2x and then what is left is minus 15. So this is our answer x square minus 2x minus 15. Question 4. x minus 5 and x minus 3. So take the first term of the first binomial and multiply it. Now I'm not putting a sign. That means it's understood. It is multiplication. Before the bracket here, if you don't have a sign, it's understood that it is multiplication. So x into x minus 3. And here we have minus 5. Next one is minus 5 into x minus 3. So now let's work out x into x. So x into x is x to the power of 2. So once that is done, now let's do the next one. That is x into minus 3. x into minus 3, the sign is minus. x into 3 is 3x. Now let's go to the next one. Minus 5 into x. Minus 5 into x will be minus 5x. So that is over. Now we have to multiply minus 5 into minus 3. So minus into minus is plus 5 threes are 15. Then let's write our final answer. We have x square. Now here we have minus 3x minus 5x. They are like terms. So minus 3x minus 5x. So signs are the same. So put the same sign and add 3 plus 5 that is 8 minus 8x. So here we have minus 8x and plus 15. So minus 8x plus 15. So what is our answer? x square minus 8x plus 15. Next one. Now here let's take the first term again. 2x. So that is 2x into the whole of the second binomial x plus 3y. Take the second term plus y. Plus y and x plus 3y. Now let's multiply 2x into x. 2x into x, the number will be the same. x into x is x square. Now we have to multiply 2x into 3y. Now let's do that here. 2x into 3y. First let's multiply the numbers 2 into 3. 2 3s are 6. Then we have 1x and we have 1y. So that is 6xy. And the sign is plus because both the numbers don't have any other sign. So 6xy. Now go to the next one. We have plus. Now here we have to multiply y into x. y into x is yx or xy. So we'll write it as xy. We're just writing it in order. Then we have to multiply y into 3y. So that is y into 3y. The number is the same. And y into y is y square. So here this will be plus 3y square. So here we have 2x square. And look at this. We have xy and xy. They are like terms. So plus 6xy plus xy. So here is understood it is 1. That means 6 plus 1 is 7. So that is 7xy because we can add up like terms. And xy and xy are like terms. That's why we are adding up these two. Then we have 3y square by itself. You can't add it to anything else. So 3y square. So what is the final answer? 2x square plus 7xy plus 3y square. Question 6. Let's take the first term. So this is 3x into the second binomial x plus 6y. Then take the second term minus 5y into the second binomial x plus 6y. Now multiply 3x into x. So 3x into x, 3x to the power of 2. Then we finish with this. Now we are going to multiply 
3x into 6y. So 3x into 6y. Multiply the numbers. 3 into 6. 3 into 6 is 18. Then we have 1x and we have 1y, 18xy. So that is plus 18xy. Let's go to the next one. So minus 5y into x. That is minus 5y into x. The sign will be minus. The number is 5. And here we have 1y and we have 1x. So this is minus 5yx or minus 5xy. Just to put it in order. Minus 5xy. So here we finish with this. Now we multiply minus 5y into 6y. So minus 5y into 6y. First multiply the sign. So here it is minus, here it's plus. Minus into plus is minus. Then multiply the numbers. 5, 6 are 30. Then we have a y here and a y here. So that makes it y to the power of 2. So here what do we have? Minus 30 y to the power of 2. So let's write down the answer. 3x square. And here we have plus 18xy minus 5xy. So let's work that out. Minus 18xy and minus no, plus 18xy and minus 5xy. Yes. Now signs are different. So let's put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 18 minus 5 is 13 and then we have xy. Remember this is not multiplication so I have not multiplied the signs. So this is simple addition. So plus and minus I have plus and then I have subtracted. I have got plus 13xy. Let's write that plus 13xy and we have minus 30y square. So this is our final answer. 3x squared plus 13xy minus 30y squared. Question 7. Let's take the first term. So here it is. x into the second binomial x minus 5y. Now let's take the second term of the first binomial that is plus 9y into the whole of the second binomial that is x minus 5 y. Now let's multiply x into x. So here it is x into x. x into x is x to the power of 2. And then now we go on to the next one that is x into minus 5y. So let's do that x into minus 5y. So here the sign is plus. So and it is multiplication. Plus into minus is minus. The number is 5. I have 1x here and 1y here. So it is minus 5xy. Minus 5xy. Now the next one we go on to plus 9y into x. So plus 9y into x. So sign will be plus and the number is 9. And we have 1y and 1x. We can also write this as 9xy. So that is plus 9xy. We can write it here. Then now that we have finished with this, let's multiply 9y into minus 5y. So 9y into minus 5y. So here the sign will be plus. So multiplication. So plus into minus is minus. Now multiply the numbers. 9 into 5 is 45. Now we have y into y, which is y to the power of 2. So what do we have here? We have minus 45y square. So our final answer will be x square. And here we have two like terms, minus 5xy plus 9xy. Let's do that. Minus 5xy plus 9xy. This is not multiplication. So when signs are different, put the sign of the bigger number and subtract 9 minus 5. That is 4 and we write xy. We can do this only because they are like terms. Both have xy. So this will be plus 4xy and what is left is minus 45y square. So final answer x square plus 4xy minus 45y square. Question 8. Let's take the first term. So this is 2x into 
second binomial 2x plus 5y. Take the second term of the first binomial plus 5y into the second binomial 2x plus 5y. Now let's multiply 2x into 2x. Let's do that here. 2x into 2x. So first let's multiply the numbers. 2, 2's are 4. x into x is x squared. So here what do we have? 4x squared. So we finished multiplying with the first term. Now we have to multiply with the second term. That is 2x into 5y. So here first multiply the numbers 2, 5. 2, 5's are 10. Then we have 1x and we have 1y. That's 10xy. So that will be plus 10xy. Let's go to the next one. Multiply 5y into 2x. So 5y into 2x. So multiply the numbers 5, 2's. That will be 10. Then we have 1y and 1x. You can also write this as 10xy. So this will be plus 10xy. So that is over. Now let's multiply 5y into 5y. So that is 5y into 5y. So that will be 5 into 5, that is 25. We have 1y here, 1y there, so y square. So this will be plus 25y square. Now here let's write our answer, 4x square. And here we have like terms, plus 10xy plus 10xy. So both are plus 10 plus 10. So 10 plus 10 is 20. So that is 20xy plus 25y square. So final answer, 4x square plus 20xy plus 25y square. So here we have a monomial and a monomial. We're going to multiply these two. But as you can see, there are many variables. So we have to be very careful. So let's begin. So 3abc is equal to 3abc into minus 5a square b square c. I put a bracket here because there's a minus sign there. So now let's first begin with the numbers 3 into 5. So here the sign here is plus. Plus into minus. So first let's write the sign. Plus into minus is minus. Now the numbers 3 into 5 is 15. Then let's take the first variable which is a here. So this is a to the power of 1 and here we have a to the power of 2. When you multiply you add the power so it becomes a to the power of 1 plus 2 which is 3. Then we go to b. Here b is 1 and here it is 2. Again you add up the power so it is b to the power of 1 plus 2 that is 3. Then let's go to c. There is 1 here and 1 here. So it's multiplication, so we add up the power c to the power of 1 plus 1, that is 2. So we have our answer here, minus 15, a to the power of 3, b to the power of 3, and c to the power of 2. So here we have a polynomial, and we're going to multiply it with a monomial. So let's begin, minus 2x into, so I'm not putting the multiplication sign. If there is no sign before a bracket, it is understood, it is multiplication. Let's put the polynomial inside the brackets, x minus y plus z. Now we begin by multiplying this monomial with each term of the polynomial. So let's begin. So here we have minus 2x into x. So first the sign, minus, the number is 2. We have 1x here and 1x here. Add up the powers when it is multiplication, x to the power of 2. So this is minus 2x square. So now we finish with this. Let's go on to the next term. Minus 2x into minus y. So minus 2x into minus y. So first we work on the signs. So here we have minus into minus. So that becomes plus. The number is 2. We have 1x, 1y. So that is x, y. So plus 2x, y. Now that is over. Now we are going to do with the third term minus 2x into plus z. Minus 2x into z. So the sign will be minus. The number is 2. We have 1x and 1z. So that makes it xz. So minus 2xz.
z. They are all unlike terms, so we can't add or subtract them. This will be our answer. Minus 2x square plus 2xy minus 2xz. Third one. Here also we have a polynomial and we're going to multiply it with a monomial. So we let's write the monomial first and in brackets the polynomial. That is 2x minus 3y minus 5z. Now we multiply this monomial with each term of the polynomial. So minus 2x, 2y minus 2y into 2x. So first the sign, the sign is minus. Then the numbers 2 into 2 is 4. Then we have 1y and 1x, so yx. Or this can be minus 4xy when you write x and y in order. So this is minus 4xy. So now we finished with this. Now let's multiply minus 2y into minus 3y. So minus 2y into minus 3y. So first the signs. Minus into minus is plus. Then the numbers, 2, 3s are 6. Then let's take y and y. So that will become y to the power of 2. So we have 6y square. So that is over. Now we are going to multiply with the third term. Minus 2y into minus 5z. Minus 2y into minus 5z. So here first the signs. Minus into minus is plus. Then the numbers, 2, 5s are 10. Then we have 1y here and 1z here. So that is yz. So let's write that. Plus 10yz. Again, they're all unlike terms. We cannot add or subtract. So this is our answer. Next one. Again, we have a binomial here. We're multiplying it with the monomial. So let's first write the monomial on this side, x, y, z. We're going to multiply this binomial with that. Minus 8 x, y, z plus 10 x square y, z cube. So let's be careful. There are many variables with different powers. So let's carefully do this. x, y, z into minus 8 x, y, z. Let's do that. x, y, z into minus 8 x, y, z. Z. So here the sign is minus because this is plus. Plus into minus is minus. Number is 8. So let's write only 8. Now let's look at the variables. We have 1x here and 1x here. That will be x to the power of 2. 1y and 1y. So y to the power of 2. 1z and 1z. So z to the power of 2. So what do we have here? Minus 8 x square y square z square so we finished with the first one now let's multiply x y z into the second term so that is x y z into 10 x square y z cube so go slow with this one so here the sign is plus because both the numbers both the terms have a plus sign the number is 10 now let's look at x here 1x and here 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. x to the power of 3. Here we have 1y and 1y. That will be y to the power of 2. Here we have 1z and z to the power of 3. So that is z to the power of 1 plus 3z to the power of 4. So that will be plus 10x to the power of 3, y to the power of 2 and z to the power of 4. So our final answer is this. Minus 8 x square y square z square plus 10 x cubed y square z to the power of 4. Question 5. This is our monomial and this is the polynomial. So let's begin. x y z into Now we multiply x, y, z into this second term. So that will be x, y, z into 15 x square y, z. So both have a plus sign. It's understood. So it is plus. The number is 15. Let's look at x, x, 1 here and x, 2 there. So x to the power of 1 plus 2, 3. y, 1 here and 1 here. So y to the power of 1 plus 1, 2. 
z1 and 1. So z to the power of 1 plus 1, that is 2. So what do we have here? Plus 15, x to the power of 3, y to the power of 2, and z to the power of 2. Now we multiply this with the third term. So what is the third term there? Minus 6, x, y, z squared. So x, y, z into minus 6 x y z square so first the sign so here it is plus and there it is minus plus into minus is minus the number is 6 now x here 1 and x 1 so that is x to the power of 2 we have y 1 y 1 so y to the power of 2 z is 1 here on the other side z is 2 so z to the power of 3 so here we have minus 6 x square y square z cube. So this is a final answer. Let's read it out. Minus 13 x square y cube z square plus 15 x cube y square z square minus 6 x square y square z cube. Here let's go on to the next one. This is our polynomial and here we have the monomial so let's do that minus 2 a b c square into 4 a b c minus 5 a square b c minus 6 a b square c so now first let's begin with the first term here the monomial and the first term so that is minus 2 a b c square into 4 a b c so here signs are different isn't it well, here it is minus and there it's plus so minus into plus is minus now multiply the signs 2 4s are 8 then the letters a 1 here and 1 here so a to the power of 2 we have b and b 1 each so that will be b to the power of 2 c is c square here and c to the power of 1 so that is c to the power of 3 so what do we have minus 8 a square b square and c cubed so now we multiply with the second term so minus 2 a b c square minus 5 into into minus 5 a square b c be careful when it is multiplication so signs are the same minus into minus is plus the numbers are 2 and 5 2 5s are 10 we have 1 a here and a square so that makes it a to the power of 3 1 b and 1 b b to the power of 2 c to the power of 2 and c to the power of 1 makes it c to the power of 3 so what do we have there we have plus 10 a cubed b square c cubed now let's multiply with the third term that is minus 2 a b c square into minus 6 a b square c so let's begin now here first the sign minus into minus is plus then the numbers 2 6s are 12 then let's take a and a both are one each so a to the power of 2 then b that is 1b and here b square so that is b to the power of 3 then we have c square and one more c here that will make it c to the power of 3 so what do we have plus 12 a square b to the power of 3 and c to the power of 3 so we have a final answer here minus 8 a square b square c cubed plus 10 a cubed b square c cube plus 12 a square b cube c cube thank you children